Hi everyone, and welcome back to the series From Ashes to a New Beginning, written by yours truly, Stacy Holt. Artwork was by Pastel Kitty Gore Art on Instagram, otherwise known as Maddie Kitty 1997 on Divian Art. I'll leave her links below. I highly recommend you go check her out. I'll also leave everyone that is collaborating within this chapter, which are Adrian and Cat Noir will be voiced by Shane. I will be voicing Marinette, Ladybug, and the narrator, and Plague will be voiced by Kenna. If you would like to support the channel, you can like, subscribe, and comment. Now, Chapter 16. Close your eyes. The next morning, Adrian woke up and instantly ran over to his bed, but found that Marinette was already up. He heard the bathroom door behind him open and saw her step out with a towel around her. Oh, uh, good morning, Adrian, Marinette said, walking past him to go get her clothes. Good morning. He blushed, seeing her wet dripping hair and her bluebell eyes once again, like from the old poem he wrote about Ladybug from so long ago. Marinette walked back into the bathroom and shut the door. A few minutes later, she walked back out in her outfit and took the blow dryer with her into the bedroom so he could have the bathroom. Could she really be Ladybug? He thought he was over that crush. He used to come to Marinetta's Cat Noir and sometimes not complain, but talk about Ladybug. If she did turn out to be Ladybug, how that would be embarrassing. Was he fantasizing about Marinette being Ladybug? Wouldn't he know that by now? Ugh. He could always test that theory. Right now, he needed to act normal. He was Adrian. He can't be heartbroken. She broke up with Cat Noir, not Adrian. Meet you downstairs? She said, motioning for him to use the bathroom. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. He said, still in a confused daze. Are you feeling all right? She asked as she flipped her head over and started blow drying her hair, looking over at him. Yeah, just fine. He rushed inside the bathroom and let out a sigh of relief. What is wrong with you? You're acting weird. Plaid groaned. I think Marinette is Ladybug. Adrian said flustered. Marinette? Ladybug? Don't you think you would have noticed that by now? Plague sighed. I mean, yeah, but how did she know there was going to be a new ladybug? Adrian said. Needs me. Plague sighed, flying out to see if Marinette was gone. Where are you going? Adrian rolled his eyes. Seeing if she's gone so I can get some cheese. Duh. Plague stuck his head through the wall and looked around. Yep, she's gone. Bye. I'm getting cheese. Adrian sighed again, and watched his Kwame disappear through the wall. Adrian took a shower since he didn't take one last night, as he only pretended to. He blow dried his hair and put on some new clothes and went downstairs, contemplating whether he should ask her or not. The car ride to school was a little awkward, considering he confessed his love for her, and they hadn't talked at all. And then on top of that, she broke up with him as Cat Noir. A double whammy to the gut and heart. Wait, could she have broken up with Cat Noir because of the confession from Adrian? Did she like Adrian more than Cat Noir? She would dump her boyfriend for her friend? That was a long stretch. Marinette wouldn't do that. She was a smart and sweet girl. Why would he even consider that? He was letting his mind run away with him now. Maybe his mind was playing tricks on him. They stepped out of the car and went to class, and they acted like the confession last night didn't happen, which for him, he was grateful for. He didn't have it in him to deal with it, since she just broke his heart. The last class let out, and they were walking out together, still not talking to one another, but a huge rumble shook the ground below them. A huge crack beneath their feet went up the side of the wall and went up to the ceiling. They heard screaming in the distance as the roof was starting to collapse. Adrenaline started pumping through their veins as Adrian and Marinette started running down the hallway, together, side by side. What are you doing, Marinette? He called over. Running for safety? You? She called over. Uh, same! He said with a smile. The floor in front of them crumbled before their eyes, and Marinette lost her footing. She screamed and felt the air beneath her feet as she began to fall, but as her eyes shot upwards, she felt Adrian catch her hand. 
He pulled her to her feet and they both turned back around from the way they came, but saw the roof starting to collapse. They were trapped. They backed to the wall, away from the falling rocks, and looked at one another. He looked around and saw no one around and looked down at Marinette, her face looking around and searched for help as well. Should he transform? Should he wait for Ladybug? Should he test his theory to see if Marinette was Ladybug? But what if she wasn't and she got hurt because of him? The roof started to shake once again and Adrian gripped his fists. He gently pushed Marinette against the wall, shielding her with his body in case any rocks fell and hit them and looked down at her. She looked up at him with a surprised look. Adrian, what are you doing? She said, seeing him put both of his hands on either side of her on the wall behind her. Close your eyes. He said. What? Why? She asked. Just do it. He said. Marinette looked at him and saw that he was being sincere and nodded, closing her eyes. She heard another crack from the wall and her anxiety started to rise. She was about to give up and transform in front of him, but was willing to give Adrian's plan, whatever it was, a shot first. Plague, claws out, he whispered. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, you can go check out some of my other videos like Thunderstorms, which is season one, Downpour, which is season two of Thunderstorms, The Butterfly That Brought Us Together, and so on. Also, there may be different voice actors for each character. Like, I like variety. So the voices might change due to my decisions, the voice actors themselves no longer want to do it, or things just happen. Anyways, sorry about that. and. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys!